And we start with national news and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybiyah Palace today. The cabinet reviewed the developments in housing projects, programs and services and directed to adopt innovative solutions in partnership with the private sector that meet the aspirations of Bahraini citizens by swiftly addressing their housing needs and achieve the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. On the occasion of World Health Day, the Cabinet highlighted the importance of enhancing collective responsibility in preserving public health through increased awareness and educational campaigns, while recognizing the unwavering efforts of Bahrain's medical and health professionals to provide exceptional health care to Bahraini citizens and residents. In recognition of the International Day of Conscience, the Cabinet emphasized that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is committed to promoting global compassion and coexistence. This day is held annually on the 5th of April and was adopted by the United Nations in response to the initiative of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memoranda. One memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft law amending certain provisions of the Law of Commerce. One submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the Protective or Productive Home License, Khatwa. The Cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs to refer the outcomes of the investigation report to the Ministry of Interior and the Civil Service Bureau. The Cabinet also assigned the Minister of Legal Affairs to form a task force to analyze applications to ensure they meet the legal and regulatory requirements for eligibility. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. Then the Cabinet reviewed the following. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs and Chairman of the Tender Board on the most important performance indicators of the Tender Board in 2023. Another memorandum by the Minister of Health regarding developments in the National Genome Programme, which revealed that the target number of samples had been reached. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. Outcomes of the efforts of the National Committee for the Prohibition of Weapons of Mass Destruction for 2023. Events organized in commemoration of Bahrain Youth Day and the external participation of ministers and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain in April 2024. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted a number of Ramadan Majlis leaders in at, at an iftar banquet at Rafah Palace. The event took place as part of His Royal Highness' commitment to interact and exchange greetings with the people of Bahrain during this holy month. 
His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's development progress in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which serve as a source of motivation for citizens to continue to pursue successes. He noted that the Silver Jubilee, recognizing His Majesty's accession to the throne, is an opportunity to reflect upon the successes achieved since the launch of Bahrain's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. His Royal Highness said that the Jubilee renews the commitment to more development efforts and achieve Bahrain's aspirations to further prosperity. He exchanged greetings with the measures leaders on the occasion of Ramadan, expressing his best wishes for continued progress for Bahrain and its people under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of gatherings in Bahrain society, which preserve the traditions that have been passed down through generations. He expressed pride in Bahrain's close-knit society and its diversity, which are necessary to achieve the development goals under His Majesty's vision. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the strong bonds of respect, tolerance and social cohesion among Bahraini citizens witnessed during the holy month of Ramadan. He noted that security is the cornerstone of development and one of the pillars to furthering achievements. He commended the successful collaboration between the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the commercial sector to ensure the stability of prices and abundance of consumer goods during the holy month and thanked them for their efforts and commitment in this regard. His Royal Highness underscored Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of Palestinians' legitimate right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. He said that wars and conflicts have negative repercussions on all countries and that it is everyone's duty to safeguard development. In this regard, he shed light on the kingdom's unity under His Majesty's leadership. He also noted the importance of the kingdom's collaboration with the private sector, its role in driving the economy and its positive impact on citizens. He highlighted the importance of supporting the construction sector and its affiliated companies in order to enhance their continuity in investment and development. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the success stories achieved by the people of Bahrain through the Economic Recovery Plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, noting that the process of monitoring and evaluating the achievements continues to be a priority. He expressed his anticipation to for Bahrain Economic Vision 2050, which he directed to begin consultations with the aim of aligning it with the aspirations of society and to catalyze Bahrain's ongoing development efforts. His Royal Highness said that the recent year's achievements are the result of ongoing efforts across all members of the Team Bahrain, including the executive and legislative authorities, the private sector and civil society, recognizing all groups as indispensable partners for Bahrain's success. And for their part, the guests expressed their appreciation to His Royal Highness for his unwavering dedication to all members of society and for strengthening the social fabric of Bahrain, wishing it further progress under the leadership of His Majesty and the support of His Royal Highness. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Al Khalifa, along with senior officials, were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Bahraini artist Khaled Abdullah Al Muharagi at Rafah Palace to present His Royal Highness with a painting. 
His Royal Highness said Bahrain is proud of its citizens' accomplishments across various fields, commending the kingdom's artistic talents that have enriched its culture and contributed to supporting its comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He commended the contributions of Bahraini artists for their artistic and creative works, which have been featured in local and regional arts exhibitions and reflect the distinguished level reached by the arts and culture sector in the kingdom. He highlighted the history of art produced by Bahraini citizens who are a source of pride for all as their work embodies the cultural development that the kingdom has witnessed. Al Muharraki thanked His Royal Highness for his continuous support to Bahraini artists, which motivates them more for development of the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Musallam, received the first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council and Head of the Parliamentary Division, participating in the Inter-Parliamentary Unions Assembly, Jamal Fakhro, and the first Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council and Head of the Delegation, Abdel Nabi Salman. During the meeting, the Speaker was briefed on the outcomes of the participation, the Declaration of Geneva, the bilateral meetings, and Bahrain's most prominent achievements and its firm stance in supporting the Palestinian cause and peace in the region. Meanwhile, Al Musallam affirmed that the effective role of parliamentary diplomacy stems from the vision of His Majesty the King and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. He hailed the positive outcomes of the participation in the IPU Assembly and over 30 of its meetings and workshops. The Speaker commended the keenness of the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, in enhancing and activating the division's tasks and supporting the role of members and delegations participating in regional and international parliamentary conferences and meetings for the interest of the nation and its citizens. Applications for participation in the eighth session of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism commenced and will continue until April 15th. More in this report. Based on the vital role of the national press and what the responsible media does as an active partner in achieving the goals of continuous development in line with the visions and aspirations of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in a way that enhances the contributions of journalists within Team Bahrain. The Prime Minister's Award for Journalism came under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to match the great excellence and progress achieved by the press and media sector in the kingdom. The award includes 10 categories to include all areas of journalistic work for institutions, newspapers, fields and media students with the aim of celebrating, honoring and appreciating journalists for their great contributions in addition to encouraging creativity and excellence in the creation of Bahraini journalistic content. The award gained wide popularity over the past years and encouraged competition among journalists, making the award a unique measure of the work of responsible and serious journalism and performing its effective role and its noble national mission, which is what all workers in this sector have paid great attention to in light of what has been achieved for the kingdom, most recent of which is the selection of Manama, the capital of Arab media.
in implementation of the vision of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to building mosques, the chairman of the Sunni Waqf Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri opened the Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Bastagi Mosque in Zayed Town. Dr. Al Hajri affirmed that opening mosques this year coincides with the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, highlighting the care and support mosques, mosques receive and the provisions of the means to overcome obstacles to establish them in all governorates. He affirmed the importance of building mosques and maintaining them, thanking all the contributors to establishing the mosques. And coinciding with the silver jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning continued uh, handing over housing units keys to beneficiaries as part of the first phase of the East Citra Town project following the citizens' completion of the procedures for electronic withdrawal of units and the authentication of legal contracts. The Ministry noted that it enhanced uh, the support initiative which provides beneficiaries with offers and discounts to furnish the housing units. It stated that it has also coordinated with the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture to provide beneficiaries with agricultural seedling to encourage the culture of afforestation. The beneficiaries expressed thanks to the government for providing them with housing units.